Oh yeah, buddy. That's wonderful. I feel so excited right now. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Good morning from Disney World here in Orlando, Florida in the United States of America. Today we're doing the $100 challenge right here behind me in Disney World. So far we took on the $100 challenge in Korea. We're doing it, we're getting to 100 today. But we failed. We took on the challenge in Japan. Uh, do we spend 100 bucks yet? Oh, not yet. And we failed again. <sighs> All right. We even tried in Mumbai, India. I'm up for the challenge. And failed harder than ever. Did we get to $100? Ah. <laughs> but if ever there was an opportunity to spend $100 on food in one day, it's going to be here. The only thing is, I don't know if we're actually allowed to shoot here. We're going to go inside. We're going to try not to get shut down by the Disney security. And we are going to eat some darn good food shaped like Mickey Mouse's head. So prepare for a fairy tale come to life complete with funnel cakes and candy bacon. Juicy. Today we're taking on the $100 Disney World Street Food Challenge. Before we get started, I'm just gonna grab a quick drink. Obviously this isn't gonna really go into our budget too much. Oh, it's $3.50 for a water. Good. Good, that's a good start. Stop one, Main Street Confectionery, where it is the home of distinctive desserts. I'm hoping to save a few bucks today at Disney World. I think they probably have a bargain bin inside. Let's go check it out. Wow, look at this place. It's stunning. I feel like a kid in a candy store right now, except I'm 34 and I'm in a candy store right now. Here, our first attraction. It is an inverted Christmas tree of lollipops. Right here, a lollipop. It is over half a pound. $6.99, $7 for this lollipop. I gotta get it. It's got my favorite characters on there, but we have to blur them out because of, you know, copyright. What? They have everything. The main thing here is to put something in the shape of Mickey's head. Oh, this is mini. Mini iced sugar cookie. These look good. Individual cookie, $3.99. I'm gonna get the lollipop. I'm gonna get the cookie. That's a good solid breakfast. Oh, they put the calories on here. They shouldn't do that. 120 calories, that's it. Except that's three servings, they're saying. So really, it's 360 calories. It smells nice, it's got some heft to it. This was about four bucks, but I, I think that's pretty much worth it. I feel too big of a bite. It is thick, it is a little dry, but it's a little moist too. That's not bad. The icing does give you the impression that it's very thick, but if you look closely, the icing is in fact not very thick. So far, not a bad start. Wow, look at this, guys. This is just kind of your generic Disney food stand right here. No offense, but it's kind of generic, right? Yeah. All right, she agrees. So right here, boom, churro. But what I'm most interested in is the Mickey pretzel. It's shaped like Mickey's head, and it's a little disturbing looking. If you look at the eyes, it looks like he has uh, cataracts or something, and it comes with cheese. Otherwise, besides that, they have this big dong. Oh, frozen banana, chocolate covered with nuts. That's cool. I don't see any nuts. Oh, they mean peanuts here. Got it. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with the Mickey pretzel. Let's go. There's a lot of foods very well suited to shaping like Mickey's head, and this just happens to not be one of them. It looks like somebody melted Mickey's face. Now this is a tough one. Usually it would be good to have a friend. I... I came here alone and I paid two cameramen to film me eat, but ideally you would bring friends and have friendships in your life in general. Back to the pretzel, and I'm gonna put it in the cheese. Now this cheese has been nowhere near a cow or from a cow. It's probably made from oil. Here we go. It's pretty good. This isn't just your standard pretzel and cheese. Let me tell you that. First of all, your standard pretzel would be kind of warm, and this one's not very warm at all. I could be one of these arrogant food show hosts who just kind of pretends like, oh, it's junk food. I don't like junk food. But the reality is, I like junk food. I'm happy. Alright guys, we've wandered into Adventureland. Wow, it's such an adventure. Everywhere you go, there's loud music playing that we have to try to get out of this video somehow so it doesn't get demonetized. For me, not getting demonetized is its own adventure. Behind me, Aloha Isle Refreshments. I'm gonna go inside, take a look at what they have. Next 
Next food, pineapple upside down cake for $6.99. If I hold it in the perfect way, they could call it a camel dump. Mm-hmm. 100% ice cream, pineapple flavored. That's actually pretty good. Here is the upside down cake. Now, I'm sorry it had to be kind of buried by the time you guys saw it, but what they do is they put pineapple in the bottom of a little tin, and then they put a cake on top of that, and then they flip it. That's why they call it pineapple upside down cake. Real chunks of pineapple, it's fresh, it's light, it's incredibly sweet. I could eat about five of these if you gave me a few years. What is that, candied bacon? Are you getting the bacon? Yeah, cool. Are you here for the bacon? No, just the, well, the sandwich. Candied bacon, where else but Disney could they find a way to make bacon into candy? It's not even bacon, guys. It's like a whole slice of a pig. It's looking juicy. I'm gonna try it out. Here we go. That is a winner. I love it. Super fatty, smoky. Oh, I want to be more expressive about my joy, but I don't want my stitches to rip out. This whole side is literally just like cooked fat. It's juicy. And then you can see this is kind of turned red from being smoked. This is a pretty decent product. I'm kind of impressed. It tastes much more like bacon than candy. It's just a little bit sweet. It's like a sweet bacon. I'm gonna take one more bite. I got all the fat here, and that's gonna be the best. It's just all these juices from the fat soaked in. Yeah, juicy. M, $8, that's not bad, right? So guys, they have a turkey leg right here. What's interesting about a turkey leg, it is the biggest bird leg that you can legally eat, I think. You can't eat an ostrich egg. I'm not made of food. Comment down below if you would. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh my god, that is delicious. It's so smoky. It almost tastes like ham. It's like they crossbred a pig and a turkey somehow. The meat is great. It's so juicy. Have you ever seen so much meat for 12 and a half bucks? That's not that bad. Oh man, juicy, greasy, smoky, it is perfect. Next time you're literally ramshackled, I highly recommend bringing a turkey leg. So good. $100 challenge continues here at Disney World. We have reached a total of $48.45. We are nearly halfway there. Behind me, our next food, funnel cake. This is like classic fair food. They're gonna fry up a cake using batter and oil, and then they're gonna top it with powdered sugar, strawberries, whipped cream, everything sinful that you can think of, and then I'm gonna shove it into here. Let's go. Guys, we're doing so well right now. We've passed the halfway mark. I'm only a little bit full, but we have a lot of day left, a lot of walking, and a lot of food. Here, classic funnel cake. Every fair in the US, every carnival requires a funnel cake. I'm gonna break off this piece. It'll just break off so easily. It is like the jelly bee I had in India. Mmm, oh, but even more crunchy, I'm gonna say. Oh, it's gonna be so crunchy. You ready? Mmm. It's like a big donut cake. Delicious, crunchy fried bread, sweet sugar. Oh, it's very nice. Next level move here. We'll be breaking some off the edge and dipping it in the whipped cream. Oh yeah, buddy. That's wonderful. It's like I'm eating a, a sweet cloud made out of dreams. In the middle, strawberries with kind of a strawberry syrup. I feel so excited right now. I don't know why. I can't explain it. The strawberries are just super sweet and syrupy. There's something magical about this place. It's weird. Nobody cares. This is the only place in the world where you can just walk around with Mickey Mouse ears. You can just eat egregious amounts of fried food and meat and know everyone's like, yeah, of course. Welcome. You're at home. $21.28. That is what you see right here. That is more than I spent on my first date ever. That is more than I spent on my most recent date ever. It was just one date. Oh yeah, that might be why. I think we stumbled into like a little German world. We're in Germany land right now. And hey, if World War II went a different way, the whole world could be Germany land, right? Enough history, let's get into the food. Well, this one isn't really German. This one is more an amalgam of trailer park, Kraft macaroni and cheese, bacon. They put it all in a blender and then they got this right here. Mac and cheese, bacon, tot, hot dish. And then over here, also the tater tots. And then this is the German part here, guys. We have a pretzel bun, we have a sausage. The Germans are known for their sausages, for having big plump sausages, and then sauerkraut on top. I'm gonna go here first. That looks like pretty decent mac and cheese right there. Let's try it out. Mm, that is perfectly acceptable. Nice bacon bits on top, I love it. I'm gonna get back to that in a moment. Over here, they're doing the classic kind of Midwestern potato shoved into a cylinder form, dropped in a fryer for your flavor satisfaction. 
Those are pretty good too. Very crunchy, satisfying. It's like mini fried hash browns almost. This is a thing of beauty. Juicy, sour, sauerkraut, and then the pretzel bun. This here is perfect because a normal bun can get boring and get soggy easily. But look at this. This is some like thick pretzely bread. Let's try it out. It's a little dry. I don't think it's a lack of condiments. I think the pretzel bread did me wrong, man. The bread is very dense. I would say go with the mac and cheese. Brock's a little tough. I do like the kraut. It needs only about half as much bread. I think it could be like half the bread, twice the dog. Either way, we got a winner right here. Cheers. Guys, can you believe it? It's a foot-long corn dog and chips all for a low price of $11. Chip made from a potato. It's a homemade, well, it wasn't actually made in anybody's home. Man, I'm telling you, it's getting hot outside. Right now, I don't have any energy. I'm not even interested in doing the show anymore. I had a lot of sugar, my feet hurt. Just kidding, we're having a great time because we're in Disney World. Okay, this is supposedly foot long corn dog. My feet are actually exactly one foot long and I think this is actually too short and I'm gonna see for sure. Oh my God, that is exactly one foot. It's a good one. Oh, what's that? Come on in. How are you doing? What's your name? Doing good. My name is Brandon. Bra Sorry, this is my microphone. <laughs> what do you think of this foot long corn dog? Have uh, you tried it? It's massive. I have not tried it. Eleven dollars. Really? Yeah, it's worth yeah. it, right? It was a little. What's your strategy? Do you eat a lot before you come here? Uh, we share meals. Yeah, we share meals. So you'd each take like six inches. Yeah. All right. About. Smart. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Wow, that's a good point, guys. You don't have to eat this alone. You could come with a, a friend or even a girlfriend, and you could share it. You could each take six inches, or you could just take the whole thing, like I am right now. Ow. As for the food, it's a corn dog. Sticky, crunchy bread. Not overly breaded, juicy dog in the middle. Nice food. What an amazing moment. We are at Disney World. We've finally, since the inception of the $100 challenge, we're gonna complete it for the first time. And this is the last food. It is chicken wrapped in a waffle with coleslaw. Let that sink in how great that is. I'm gonna have a hard time smashing this into my body, but I'm gonna do it. So take a look. It's massive. This is a big amount of food, man. Let's try it out. Oh, that is yummy. Sweet, salty, fairly moist chicken. The waffles become soft. I think I let it sit on there too long. I'm gonna attempt to get another bite in. I don't know, it's getting sloppy. Coleslaw, it really brings it all together. Nice little fresh crunch. It's all the yummy flavors of the South. Low waffle, low chicken, low coleslaw, low cardiac arrest, all in one. For me, man, I could not take one more bite of food today. This was an amazing journey, and I can't believe that we finally hit. What? 99.70? We didn't spend $100. I was just told that we only spent $99.70 and not $100. We were so close. I can't. Oh, we were so close. We were so close this time. We almost did it. Oh, we were so close. Oh. I gotta say, it would be really easy to come here and eat the food and be cynical and be like, oh, it's expensive, but it doesn't taste like a $13 corn dog. But honestly, overall, everything here runs really smooth. It's like a well-oiled machine. It's just a fun place to come hang out, eat 15 meals in one day, and no one bats an eye. It's normal here. Everyone's accepted, whether you have big mouse ears or a long dog tail. You can fit right in here. From researching and shooting, to editing and mastering. Our 10-person best ever food review show team works hard to roll out the highest quality travel food entertainment twice a week. If you like what we do here, please consider supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a monthly sum and receive a load of extras like early video releases, private Q&As, and beyond. To learn more about our Patreon, check out the link in the description box down below. And if you can't give or don't even feel like it, that's okay too. <laughs> We're just happy you're here. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A oh, peace. peace. <laughs> oh, you guys nailed it the first time. <laughs> All right, let's go get some more home. Let's go home. I'm gonna go home. If everyone knew